This morning, I was waiting, waiting, right, to hear the famous words of Vince McMahon at 9 a.m. this morning when I was at work, right? And those words were... Yeah! What? How's this guy still here? How, how is he still at the club, bro? How is he still here as well, you know? And the thing is, too, right, we, my night fans, we went to sleep laughing from smiling bro we're like yeah we've got rid of him you know like it's, it's a good thing he's gone he doesn't know what he's doing and then 9 9 a.m right i didn't find out about this until like um 11 o'clock because where i work there's no service so it's like literally being in, in like north korea <laughs> you get no news whatsoever so for me like i was like yeah it's probably gone and then I, 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 antonio conte has been announced right but seeing on twitter fam rival fans laughing at us bro like you thought you got rid of him but he's still there always at the world fam you know like and that song of the liverpool fans on sunday keeps going through my head fam always at the will at the will always i'm like oh bro and is the, the man united are making us fans look like a laughing stock at the moment generally it, it makes it looks like a laughing stock as well you know because the thing is too yeah i was reading the reports yeah um that uh like there's a, a division as well between the board the managers and the players as well some players do want ollie and some players want ollie out as well uh fabrizio romano as well very very trusted journalist as well right he's came out right he's came out and he said that paul pogba will stay at man united um if Oli leaves, same thing with Donny van der Beek as well, you know, but it seems like Oli is staying, so that means Pogba and Donny are leaving, bro, and we're going we're to be stuck with Scott McTominay and Fred, yo, bro, it's, it's literally so annoying as well, you know, and the thing is too, right, our board fam are pussies, bro, they are bitches fam they are genuinely they are bro and and i i, I hate swearing as well and, and i literally hate talking like this too too because again ranting and raving swearing it, it kind of makes you look like a madman but our board fam all again stabbing us in the back that all they care about is the money bro like when is there gonna be one leader bro like ed wood is not a leader fam he's a coward he's a coward that's why he is he hides behind security guards cannot face us my our fans to our faces bro he, he cannot even faces right how uh, why why can't it be one person that at least just turns around right and goes listen all he's got to go i don't care what any of you guys think he's not good enough for the job he, he, he needs to leave because look at the fans look at the fans right and you've got like sky sports as well interviewing fans on the streets you've got um united fans as well uh, united stands as well right um interviewing fans on the street bro. and majority of them i'll say 98 percent of them right that were interviewed are are on the out the the two percent they're just rival fans trolling fam you get me there is no communication between like the board and the fans like joe glazer of course lied the snake like the glazers are snakes like i don't know why anybody even believed them as well with this whole fan forum thing as well we will do our best to listen to the fans they don't care about the fans bro all these all these guys keep wanting yeah is mediocre fam our standards keep on lowering right and i said it as well in my kitchen like last year as well i said like, these guys though keep on trying to beat us over their head right do you know like on more combat um on mortal combat 9 like quanchi's fatality where he ripped somebody's leg off and he keeps on beating them over their head <laughs> with their own leg fam that's what the glazers right are doing to us my and I fans bro they are literally they've they've got the my and I crest right and, and they're just hitting us all like literally they're hitting the fans over and over and over and over again like we're lowering the standards we're lowering that we, don't, we can't afford this guy we're not this we're not my united we're crap with this with that bro like they that's what they keep on doing to us from they they are lowering our standards as well always keep stabbing us in the back in the name of money that is what they do bro this like the thing is too right when this whole uh, uh, the thing is too right yesterday when i reported like um I, when i reported when i spoke um I, about Oli, right? Being um in charge of my night still, right? And these idiots, they're in India, bro, bidding for two IPL uh, cricket clubs, from and they lost one of them. They got outbidded on one of them. They're not serious about us, guys. This is what I mean, from like the the, the fans are 
are the ones that care about Man United, bro. Genuinely, bro. The, like for for us, we we're the ones that are still trying to maintain these standards as well. But again, they will never listen to us. They, they, they will keep stabbing us in the back. That's that that's what we keep that's what we keep happening with the Glazers. Never trust them. We need them out as well because they are the main root of this problem, guys. The thing is too that right? these guys they want they they want they don't want to start qualifying. They generally like like literally how long like it took them yesterday for them. They came up with all these excuses like oh yeah the time difference or. Oh, five hours in florida da, 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 this nah bro like the thing is right like they want to keep ollie in there because he's a yes man he protects them right he, he protects them and they protect him that's all that matters fam like 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 literally right now as well you know like i said it two seasons ago when we should sign uh, bruno fernandez in the summer yeah we, ollie is a pussy bro <laughs> This is what I said, bro. He's a pussy fan because, again, he'll never call him out because, again, he, he he's just there like, yes, sir, yes, sir, please, sir. Yeah, like, no, bro, you 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 care about Man United, not about the Glazers. Screw the Glazers. We don't care about them, fam. We went to put the team first, but, of course, he's not putting the team first as well. He lied to us, too. He lied to us, too, because the thing is, too, right, he never learned from his mistakes, yeah? Last season, he was playing McFred, and look what happens, and then, and, then, and, then, and then look what happened. This season, he's playing McFred. Look what's happening now, right? When we signed Varane, yeah, he was like, yeah, you know, we, we're going to turn it into a, a 4-3-3. There's going to be no more McFred, you know. And us fans were like, yeah, we're actually proper buying into it as well, you know. It's like, yeah, there's going to be uh, a, a development of, like, Marcus Rashford, you know, um, Greenwood as well. Like, like they're, they're going to develop as well. Sancho, we're playing more on the right. None of that's happened, fam. He's lied to us. He's lied to us, bro. Sancho's not even playing on the right, bro. We spent 74 million or 73 million around this guy. He's not even playing on the right, bro. He's, he, he's not been playing in general he said that Donny will get more playing time as well you know he, he's actually changed his body he has actually put some muscle on where's Donny fam he's not playing bro he, he, he don't he don't pay his guys fam and the thing is too yeah some players right they've <laughs> well <laughs> this is um a quote right from Mark Goldridge right he said that um some <laughs> some players right aren't even convinced about Oli anymore like like they say he, he's a nice he, he he's a nice guy but the job is just too big for him and I grew and, and I grew and I grew with him as well you know some other players too right they've like well again anom anonymously came out right and it said that uh is Kieran, McKier Kieran McKenna Lawrence McKenna whatever the McKenna guy is bro he's he's coaching like um like setup in the training ground is academy is academy level bro it's academy level how 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 Mason Greenwood right Jaden Sancho and Rashford right meant to develop from this even Donovan the Bank how they meant to develop from this right when they're already turned pro and they're good and they're too good for academy level how bro <laughs> What a mess we're in, bro. Man United is in a big mess too, you know. And yeah, fam, it's it's it's, it's genuinely like Oli is ruining his reputation with his fans. He's ruining the reputation. Um, uh, you know, his relationship with the fans as well. It's gonna turn even worse. It's gonna turn negative as well, you know. Like they're saying, yeah, you know, the uh, Tottenham game, the Atlanta game, the Man City game, fam. We, we if, bro, I, Atlanta, Villarreal, away from home, bro, <laughs> in Bergamo, fam. <laughs> Villarreal, bro. We've got Man City, bro. You, you think you genuinely think that this is too late to turn things around, fam? You know what I mean? In somehow of a miracle, bro. Like if if somehow um, <laughs> the Man City team like stop playing, the Chelsea team stop playing, fam, and Liverpool's team stop playing, right? And like we get like a, a solo run, right, at the trophy, bro, and we actually win the trophy, fam, which will never happen under this guy. Yeah, fam, bro. Ah, it's really annoying. <laughs> It's a mess, this club. It's a just a genuine mess, and like, yeah, they they just prove that, like, again, time and time again, that they just keep proving that the money matters here, guys. You know, and for me, I'm one of the guys that grew up um, like looking up to Ronaldo too. You know, I did genuinely want to go watch Ronaldo as well. I did get a chance to go watch Ronaldo as well, but um, I put uh, uh, personal business um, aside as well because um, it, it was I was meant to go to, to the Villarreal game, but I didn't go. You know, because I'm gonna spend hundred pounds of you know of my money to go watch this crap. You know, and I do love Ronaldo, but again, I, I, I'm not gonna watch Man United when 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 this guy's in charge of Man United too. But yeah, guys, that's been. The topic for today, you know, it's it's painful. It's painful because 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 Man United uh, for me, uh, like 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 this team, well, this club um, started dying slowly. Yeah, when Fergie left, they they got poisoned when the Glazers bought them, but started dying slowly when Fergie left, and it's happening now, fam. You get me? 
but yeah, I'll just have to have the wait and see as well, you know, like for Saturday, see see what happens, you know, because for me, um, there's no turning back with Oli in my opinion. For me, like I'm literally getting closer to saying Van Persie is more of a, more of a club legend than Oli, and I'm being serious. Did that so much is getting on my nerves, right? And even a fan on the United States is, is starting to hate him, bro. He's starting to hate Oli, you know. But yeah, guys, if you got any thoughts, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. Comment down below as well. And um, yeah, I'm signing out. I see you later.